Justin Albright with Aviation Nation and ISE 2018. Oh my good buddy, Mr. John Ivey. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. Doing well. Yeah. Busy show. Busy show. We're in the, the Atlas IED stand. Um, and MTX. And on MTS. The other side. MTX. Um, Hall 6. Uh, Hall 6. A little move for you from, from 7 to 6. Yeah, the connector. Everyone has to pass by the booth. Yeah, it's, so. it's brilliant. It's actually brilliant. Um, the one thing I, I like about you, and this is regardless of anything else, you were probably one of the more creative people that I personally know, oh, right? Yeah. And I, anytime I talk with you, whether it's just you know chatting on the phone or we I come to these shows, you're showing me something new. You're showing me something different. The speaker that we're looking at, in right in front of us right now, is one of those things. It is. Take so care. tell folks if, if you're looking at it, this this black part here, you're not going to see. No, this goes so, in the ceiling. This goes in the ceiling. So you're going to see this part you, of the speaker. Yes, sir. This is a speaker. It, yeah, it's a it's a two-way speaker. Uh, woofers inside the the black area. Uh, the tweeter is exposed when you have the cover off. So you drill a 2.75 inch hole in the ceiling. It can be a wood ceiling, drywall ceiling, plaster ceiling, whatever. Drop the speaker down from the top and put on the cover and you're done. And this uh, is what you're going to see. And that's what you're going to see. So now this can be painted or actually we're printing it in Texas along with the rest of this, this whole unit. Okay. So we can print it any REL color. We can actually print it uh, off of a picture you take. So if you take a picture of a ceiling like the Sistine Chapel and you want to put a speaker in it, we actually can print the exact high resolution photo over this entire piece. And then it's adjustable, so there's a screw here in the center that adjusts it from eight millimeters open down to three. Um, of course, as the, the smaller it gets, uh, it does diminish some acoustical value because it is a great sounding speaker. I mean, this, thing's, this thing rocks. Um, but it's the best looking speaker now. So we always made the best sounding speaker we ever could. This one's the best looking speaker. Yeah. Um, really going after the architects. Um, that's what it was designed to fill their need is they want the invisible speaker. Uh, and this I, is as close as you're going to get to an invisible speaker. I spent years looking up at ceilings and the best looking thing in a ceiling was the sprinkler head covers. They're just little discs, they're three inch discs. So that was kind of the inspiration is how do we get sound to come out of those little three inch discs and you know, three years later, here you go. So a couple of you know, technical questions here. So what, what are we looking at as, as far as you know, frequency response and, and power and everything? Yeah, so it actually is equivalent to our FAP 62T. Uh, which we sold millions of. You know, you walk around, you see them all over airports, you see them in Starbucks, you see them. If, if you follow John on social media, he'll show you where some are. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. They're all over the place. I, I find them everywhere in the wild. Uh, so yeah, so that was the goal: is let's recreate that experience, but with a better looking package. So this is actually the SHS um, six T, as in Tom two. Okay. So yeah, and it's got you know. It's got your transformer built in with your variable tap selectors. It's got 70 volt, 70 volt, 100, 8 ohm. Your pass through Phoenix connector. Um, you got your cable clamp. You got your plenum rated back can um, that's acoustically dampened in the back, and it's 100% diffused. So when you look at the polars, it's got 180 degree at 2K uh, dispersion on it. Oh wow! Yeah, right. So great low ceilings now. If you're going into a higher ceiling or you want a little bit more directivity, there's a different disc that goes on the front that actually has perf and slots through it. So it becomes more like a traditional down speaker. Frank speaker yeah. Yeah. But still, it's not, I mean, you, if you look at this, this footprint, which is weird because it's on the ceiling, but you look at the footprint here, it's still a smaller footprint, even with the diffuse on top, than a traditional Absolutely. grill yeah, and it's not. So we looked at doing smaller speakers. We looked at two inch, we looked at three inch, and they just didn't have the low frequency response that we were looking for. Um, they were really tinny. They just they didn't have the performance that Atlas wants. I and mean, Atlas, we go after full range frequency response. You know, our transformer technology is some of the best in the world. They weren't good enough. So this took years of development, and it's ready. So if I'm an integrator, and I'm looking at this, or I'm talking with an architect, or I'm looking at a spec, I'm talking with a client, what would you say, how would you go in as an integrator to lead with or, or, or sell this product as opposed to a traditional Yeah, so the, the first thing I would ask them is, how important is the aesthetics of your building? Right? If you don't care what it looks like, we have better solutions for you. Okay. Right? If aesthetics is important and you want the speaker to disappear, which architects usually do, um, or if it's a higher end look, you know, more modern, a ceiling speaker's been the same look for 50 years, right? Oh, edgeless grill now. Okay, well, that's still been around for 10. This is something totally new, it's totally different. So it shows that you're keeping up with technology, cutting edge. It's different. 
Yeah, so in other words, if the, if the aesthetics trumps the overall quality of the sound, we're looking at this. Uh, this thing sounds really good, but yes. No, but yes. It, it, it was, it was designed the, for the aesthetics at okay. first, yeah. And once you, I mean, you guys, when you shoot it in the ceiling, you'll see it's a really good looking product. Yeah, absolutely. All right, uh, if they're not a dealer, if they want to find out more information about Atlas, how do they do that? Well, if they're not a dealer, I'd be surprised because we have 2,000 of them. But we, we want more dealers. I mean, that's, that's really, uh, especially internationally. Uh, this is why we're at IC. Yep. Uh, majority of our business is done domestically, so we're really looking for more international dealers. Um, so far, the Europeans have loved this. They've come by and they've been blown away by the look of it. Uh, but just, you know, pick up the phone, call 1-800-CALL-ATLAS-ID or 1-800-CALL-MTX is another easy one to remember. Go on uh, atlasid.com. I mean, you can call my house phone. Don't do that. My cell phone. No. No? You don't call Tim. He knows you, you can get all of me. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So John, I'm from Atlas ID. Uh, my name is Tim Albright. For more information about us or more videos from ISD, go by the website avnation.tv, avnation.tv.